Meteorologist Joe Hansel right with you here on a look at your Predictix National Severe Weather Threats and it's a mainly quiet day in terms of watches, warnings and advisories. This is about it on this Sunday morning. There's a few winter weather advisory areas, one near Detroit, one in northern Maine, one near Buffalo where a couple or a few inches of snow are possible today. And also a winter storm warning in southwest Colorado, the Rockies. Let's zoom in there about that snowfall. We're talking Sunday night through Tuesday morning. That purple shade? 8 to 16 inches of snow, locally 20. So some areas could get close to 2 feet of snow in the high elevations of the mountains. Not really translating in the lows, the lower elevations. Denver and Colorado Springs could see close to a half inch of snow during that time. Today in Denver, 50. A lot of sun, 80s for Phoenix, 82 in Miami. New York City got some rain moving in, especially overnight. A soaker out there as a cold front moves in. Quick look at the tropics. There's a cluster of cloud cover between Santo Domingo and Bermuda. There is one lonely, lonely, ch lonely lo low chance of tropical development that does include the Bahamas and the Western Atlantic. On a calendar, the hurricane season is slowly starting to wind down, and I don't have any named storms on the map at this time, so we will take that. A couple of cold fronts we're keeping an eye on. Basically, from coast to coast, there's a Pacific low near Washington State. One low will bring everything from rain, storms, and some moderate heavy snow out east. And also watching a Colorado low to develop Monday night and Tuesday, bringing in everything from rain to some heavy accumulating snow for states like South Dakota, Wisconsin, Minnesota, middle of the week. So again, coast to coast weather today. Cold front will bring the rain from Seattle to Portland, some rain, uh, some snow in the Cascades. Uh, across about 3,000 miles away, rain in New York City, snow near the Canadian border is possible today, tonight, into early tomorrow. And looking at your highs across the nation, Miami sneaking out today in the 80s again, Los Angeles near 65.